Okay, now let's take the other case when uh, we say that y is equal to x raised to power p is there. Now p here can be a rational number. Let's say. The earlier case that we have taken was that where p was a natural number and it was decided on whether it is even and odd what will be the particular cases. Now p is a rational number here. Now if p is a rational number that means it will take the form of m is 2 n right and uh, it could be positive negative whatever we do not know. So how you are going to solve for this let's see. So if I have to talk about first of all what you can do is um, let me show you first of all the answers that you have to remember and then I will show you the logic why I am doing so. If p is greater than 1 I am just drawing remember I am drawing the graph in the first quadrant what happens for the next I will tell you. If p is greater than 1 then the graph will be like this. Okay, If p lies between 0 and 1 then the graph would be the first quadrant and we are just talking about the first quadrant. It will be like this. And if p is less than 0, right, the fraction is less than 0, then the graph would be something similar to this. Okay? This way the graph will be. Now we have made the first quadrant. How will the second or third quadrant be graph? I will just tell you how you have to decide that. With the help of examples we do that. But how you decide that in the first half? So if you notice, now I have done what? We have just drawn the graph for x greater than 0, right? We have just drawn the graph for x greater than 0. Now, let's understand the logic for each and everything. Here, if you see, the graph is concave upwards. Alright, I just told you in the above uh, or the preceding video, it is concave upward. Here, the graph is concave downward. You must have done this in optics, right? Concave downwards, a bit of optics, though you might not have done optics in uh, class 11th or in maybe the start of class 12th. And this is again concave upwards, you can say, because it is opening towards the outside. Though we can, I can teach you a, a definition according to tangents as well, but uh, we can leave that at this point of time. So, how do you mathematically check whether this is concave upward or concave downward? So, the formula for concavity or convexity, whatever you want to say, is you have to find f double dash x, that is the second derivative. If second derivative is positive for those values of x, then in that particular region, the graph will be concave upwards, right? Concave upwards. For those values of x where the f double dash x is coming out to be greater than 0, graph will be concave upwards. And for less than 0, the graph will be concave downwards. So if you just want to check here, let's say we can see with a very simple example x square. We know that x square is like this and we talked that it is always concave upward. So what happens? So first derivative we can write as y1. So y1 is nothing but 2x. y2 is that is the second derivative d2y by dx square is 2. This is always positive. That is why it is always concave upwards. Let's take the example of y equal to x cube now. So y1 will be 3x square right and y2 will be what 6x. So for 6x it says for x greater than 0 your y2 is coming to be positive. For x less than 0 your y2 is coming to be negative and that is why the graph of x cube changes its shape. Right? Can you see this now? Happening? It is concave downward. Right? And then it shifts to concave upward. Why? Because now it is evident for x greater than 0 it is positive, for x less than 0 it is negative. Now let me remove all this and try to make sure that you can understand why I have drawn graphs of the above functions like this. Now if you know this logic, now if you know this logic, the graphs will be very simple for you and the understanding will become crystal clear. How? Let's see. So quickly taking this now, now this case is p greater than 1. So what is the first uh, derivative of x raised to power p? y1 will be nothing but p into x raised to power p minus 1, right? Let's find the second derivative. Second derivative will be p into p minus 1 into x raised to power p minus 2, right? Absolutely clear. So if you notice, we are just taking, drawing the graph for x greater than 0 as of yet. If p is greater than 1, so this is the case when you are solving for p greater than 1. If p is greater than 1, this is positive, this is positive and this is already positive because base is positive, 
ठीक है देन यू डू नॉट मैटर व्हाट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ पी इफ द बेस इज पॉजिटिव एवरीथिंग विल बी पॉजिटिव सो दिस इज ऑलवेज पॉजिटिव सो दैट मींस फॉर एक्स ग्रेटर देन 0 दिस इज कनकेव अपवर्ड दैट इज व्हाई इट इज कमिंग आउट टू बी कनकेव अपवर्ड नाउ इफ वी इफ वी से दैट ऑब्वियसली द डेरिवेटिव इज गोइंग टू रिमेन सेम फॉर ऑल दीस थ्री सो इफ वी टॉक अबाउट द अदर पर्टिकुलर केस वी हैव हियर नाउ इफ यू से दैट पी लाइज बिटवीन fraction p is a fraction so what will happen this is positive but this term will now become negative accept it so if this term becomes negative so then the value of y2 comes out to be less than 0 in the first quadrant for x greater than 0 that is why the shape is concave downwards got it and for the last one when you say p is already less than 0 if p is less than 0 what will now happen this p is already negative Okay, p minus one is obviously negative, and p is also negative. But negative into negative becomes positive. So here again, y two becomes positive. But remember, again, this is not going to be negative. Why? X is positive. We are taking drawing the graph only in the first quadrant as of yet. For first quadrant, x is positive. So if base is positive, whatever may be the power, the answer will be positive. Negative, negative, positive. So y two is positive. But if you notice, we have drawn the these first two graphs, stating that they start from origin, right? They start from origin. They start. This starts from origin. This does not start from origin. Why? Very simple logic. This graph is what x raised to power p. And if you say x raised to power p, where uh, x is, oh sorry, p is less than zero. So that means, for example, let's say p you take minus two by three. Right? If you take p as minus two by three, so the graph is nothing but one upon x raised to the power two by three. Can x take zero here? X will never be zero. Why? Because if the power is negative, it will be reciprocated. It, the reciprocal will be done. So if you reciprocate, what will happen? X will come in the denominator. That is why it will never attain x equal to zero value. Right? And that is why x equal to zero becomes the asymptote for this. And that is why we draw this kind of graph. Okay? Clear? Got it. So now we have drawn the graphs only in the first quadrant. Now let us see the interesting part. What happens when the graph has to be drawn for the remaining half for x less than zero? So, first of all, we will start with this basic graph. That is, when p is greater than one. Let's say when p is greater than one. So, if you notice, this is x raised to power p, right? And this might be fraction. So, what is the consideration that you have to do now? Let's say p is nothing but m is to n right so now there could be three particular cases depending on the values of m or n let's do one thing we'll discuss in detail first of all this particular graph and then maybe we can take this to other values of p all right so if i say that m is to n is the ratio that you have to figure it out p is equal to m is to n so there could be three different cases now let's see what three different cases i am going to teach you so if m and n Both odd. If they are both odd, that means this whole function x raised to power p will then become a odd function, right? And if we know that it becomes an odd function, then what you will do for odd function, the graph will be nothing but you will take mirror image of the first quadrant about origin, or that means the third quadrant. This will be the graph if both m and n are odd. So examples of this could be something like this, where you have to draw x raised to power one by. Th oh, sorry, uh, the power has to be greater than one, so answer could not be one by three. This is my bad. Yes, so answer would be five by three. Let's say this will be the shape of this graph. Very easily you can say. Now you know how to draw these kind of graphs. Now coming to the next. Now it says that m is equal to odd. Right and n is equal to even. The base is even. The, the denominator is even now. Okay, let's do one thing. This is a complicated case. Let's first of all understand another one where m is uh, even and n is odd. Let's cover this first. When the denominator is both odd. So if this is odd, let's take an example. The power where p has to be greater than one, m has to be even, and n has to be odd. For example, four by three. The p can be four by three, so the graph will be x is uh, uh, x raised to power four by three sort of thing, right? So what is this function? Can you tell me even or odd? Since the power is x raised to power four, this makes the function 
Yes, absolutely. This makes the graph even. So if the M is even and N is odd, then the graph will be reflection of the right side into the left side. This is the graph. For example, if anybody asks you to draw the graph of x raised to power 4 by 3, then this is the answer. Clear? We have done 5 by 3, we have done 4 by 3. Now the next is, when m is odd, odd doesn't matter, it is even also. Right? What we will do when n is even? So let's again understand with the help of an example. Aap kehte hain, x ki power 5 by 2 bataiye. 5 by 2 ka matlab kya hoga? x square times under root x again yehi matlab hoga now if i ask you what is the domain of this what you will tell me yes the domain of this is x greater than 0 it does not exist for x less than 0 bhai or in fact greater than equal to 0 ye negative values ke liye banta hi nahi hai to iska graph to yehi answer ho gaya so there are three categories of graphs that you can draw for x raised to power p when p is greater than 1, that is, इसमें हमने क्या करा है, ये odd functions के लिए बना है, तो mirror image, 1 and 3rd quadrant, 1st and 3rd quadrant में graph बन रहा है, ये वाला क्या है, even function है, तो इसका graph किस में बनता है भाई, आपका 1st and 2nd quadrant, right, and the last category is where you will have graph only in, only in 1st, right, I hope the categorization is completely clear to you. That is very important. Only in first. Okay. Clear? The next case that we have to take is when x raised to power p is there, p is a fraction. We know that this is the basic graph that we have drawn for x uh, greater than 0. Now we again need to draw the graph when x is less than 0. So x less than 0 ke liye hum kya karenge isme? Humara p fir se kya hai bhai? m is 2. N hai. So now you could easily do the question on your own. Agar hum isme bhi teen cases bana lehen. Hum bolte hai ji M and N odd hai. Odd numbers hai. Bohut badiya baat hai. If M and N are both odd numbers. Kaise? Ek example lehen. Y equal to X raised to power 1 by 3. Thik hai. Isme P ki value kya hai? Yaad rakhna hai. Fraction hai. So numerator should be smaller. So here you can remember that M is less than N here. So if this happens what is the category of this function perfect this becomes an odd function this becomes an odd function or odd function ke liye kya ho jata hai bhai batayein zara mirror image of this in the third quadrant so mirror image about origin ka kya matlab hoga aap isko 180 degree rotate kar do so jab aap isko 180 degree rotate karoge to ye kaisa dikhega aapko kuch aisa so this is the shape of phi equal to cube root x hai na kamal ki baat ठीक है, so this is how you have to draw cube root. और अगर example ने यही shape किसकी हो सकती थी, y equal to 5 by 7. Perfectly valid. अभी भी ये odd function है, तो इसी तरीके से shape बनेगी. फिर एक और हम case लेते हैं, बल्कि second case अपना आसान कर लेते हैं पहले एक बार. m आपका even है और n odd है. ठीक है, इस बार. तो कैसा होगा कोई graph ले लेते हैं, x is equal to m आपको even लेने 4 by 7. लेते हैं अब अगर 4 by 7 कर दिया तो इसमें फंक्शन कैसा हो गया अगर आप minus x डालते भी हो तो वापस आपको क्या मिलने वाला है fx क्योंकि पावर क्या है पावर इज इवन सो दैट मींस इट इज एन इवन फंक्शन पावर इवन नहीं बोलना चाहिए मुझे बट हां जो इसमें 4 है ये इसको क्या बना देगा नेगेटिव को पॉजिटिव सो दिस बिकम्स एन इवन फंक्शन सो इन केस ऑफ इवन व्हाट वी विल डू यू विल टेक द मिरर इमेज ऑफ राइट इन द लेफ्ट हाफ अगर ये ऐसे जा रहा था तो आप के बार क्या कर दोगे इसी की मिरर इमेज यहां बना दोगे क्लियर है मिरर इमेज सी नहीं लग रही एक बार आ, समझ लेने के लिए दोबारा बना देता हूं ये बात बहुत क्लियर होनी चाहिए हम इसमें इवन और ऑड एक्सटेंसिवली यूज कर रहे हैं सो इफ यू आर नॉट क्लियर विद इवन एंड ऑड प्लीज गो टू द बेसिक्स एंड रिवाइज इवन एंड ऑड ठीक है कुछ इस तरीके की शेप बनेगी ठीक है तो इसमें एक बहुत अच्छा एग्जांपल अगर याद करना बड़ा जो जनरली यूज होता है वो है x रेस्ट पर 2 by 3 दिस इज जनरली व्हाट वी यूज ठीक है इसी में तीसरी कैटेगरी की बात करते हैं फिर से m odd even कुछ भी हो odd और even कुछ भी हो और आपका n जो है वो even हो जाता है तो फिर से n अगर even है तो फिर से question डगमगा गया है तब आप solve नहीं कर पाओगे क्यों for example y is equal to x raised to power 1 by 2 very basic stuff that is cube root oh sorry square root square root में अगर मैं बात करता हूँ इसका domain क्या है 
एक्स ग्रेटर देन जीरो तो भाई लेफ्ट हैंड साइड पे डायग्राम ही नहीं बनेगा यू विल नॉट बी एबल टू ड्रॉ डायग्राम ऑन द लेफ्ट हैंड साइड द आंसर इज ओनली द राइट साइड ओनली द राइट साइड क्लियर आई होप दिस इज अगेन क्लियर सो ऑल द एग्जांपल्स हियर फॉर फॉर इफ यू वांट टू से 7/4 सॉरी 7/4 शुड नॉट बी द केस बिकॉज़ वी नीड p टू बी लेस देन 0 बट या 7/10 यू कैन से वेरी वेल 7 बाई टेन सो सेवन बाई टेन अगर है तब भी आंसर क्या होगा शेप आपकी इसी तरीके से बनेगी आप कुछ नहीं कर सकते हो क्लियर लेट्स टेक दर्ड केस सो लेट्स टेक दर्ड वन विच इज वेन पी इज ऑलरेडी नेगेटिव सो एक्स इज वाई इज यू एक्सिस्ट पर पी वी हैव ऑलरेडी डॉन दी ग्राफ वेन एक्स इज ग्रेटर देन जीरो दिस इज एस एम टोटिकल सो इसमें भी फिर से वही अगर आप कहते हो सर पी हमने एम एस टू एन ले रखा है बट हमारा पी कैसा है नेगेटिव है ठीक है सो एम एन एन आर ऑड फिर से एम एन ऑड सो ऑब्वियसली अगेन दी फंक्शन विल बी ऑड फंक्शन इफ द फंक्शन इज ऑड वॉट यू विल डू यू विल जस्ट प्रोजेक्ट दिस इन दी थर्ड क्वार्टर में आप इसको एज इट इज मिरर इमेज कर दोगे दिस इज द शेप दैट इज रिक्वायर्ड सो ऑल द केसेस फॉर एग्जाम्पल माइनस वन बाय थ्री एक्स रेस टू पार माइनस फाइव बाय थ्री right the, these are all the shapes that you will draw clear now let's take the other case then other cases when m is m is even now m becomes even and n comes out to be odd theek hai isme kaise ho sakta tha case aap aise le lo x is equal to minus 4 by 3 theek hai if it is minus 4 by 3 to kya hoga function kya hoga ab can you tell me अब ऑब्वियस बात है जैसे हम पहले कर रहे थे द फंक्शन विल रिमेन इवन नाउ पहले केस में फंक्शन क्या था ऑड अब क्या हो गया फंक्शन इवन तो अब की बार जो राइट हैंड साइड में डायग्राम था आप उसे क्या करोगे यस एब्सोल्युटली सो दिस इज द शेप ऑफ y इक्वल टू x रेस टू पार माइनस फोर बाय थ्री इस तरीके से ये शेप बनेगी और अगर हम लास्ट केस लेते हैं कौन सा लेन लास्ट केस when n can be even or odd it doesn't matter but your n is even right if n is even again graph will be so here again domain becomes specific domain is x greater than 0 so the answer for all these graphs will be this only so the perfect uh, case you can talk about is y is equal to x raised to power minus 1 by 2 अगर हम इसको लेते हैं तो वन अपॉन रूट एक्स हो गया एक्स की वैल्यू आप नेगेटिव डाल ही नहीं सकते हो तो इसका आंसर सिर्फ इतना है ओके तो आई होप दिस पार्ट इज क्लियर दैट हाउ वी हैव प्रोजेक्टेड पावर फंक्शंस इन डिफरेंट डिफरेंट केसेस यूजिंग व्हाट कुड बी द पॉसिबल वैल्यूज ऑफ पावर्स